Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking an early look at all of the Transformers released in Wave 10 that including Studio Series Starscream, Studio Series Dino, and Studio Series Bumblebee B127. And actually I am beyond excited to be demonstrating to you all of the figures um, um, starting Blood Road. We're going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite and this video should be should be a, like pretty quick. Um, because it and this wave is like nearly maybe maybe the the shortest wave studio series has ever released I believe so so without further ado let's take a look at my most favorite favorite figure of wave 12 so far um this can change um tell me in the comment section down below if whether um um who is your most favorite and which is your least favorite and you can get all all of these three figures at target currently right now so Target does sell them a little bit earlier, I believe, than Walmart. But if you are available to find them in Walmart, please tell me in the comment section. But you can mostly find them in a Target. So if you are near your local Target um, uh, right now, I recommend you turn into that Target parking lot, go inside the store, go to the aisles where the toys are, and where the action figure aisle where the Marvel toys and Transformer toys are. There should be um, some Transformer Studio Series there. And if you cannot find any, any um, ask someone... For uh, one of the target systems for help so that you could find these figures and and so that you could get get your um, wave 12 collection complete I'm not so sure if this counts as wave 12 or wave 11 because uh because wave um, because wave 11 is act basically the new g1 transformers that got released in February 1st 2021 and they were part of like a new transformer um, studio series toy line which was like the the 86 so I'm not so sure if this should be 11 or the, or this should be 12. So I believe it is about um, wave 12. This um, toy line. <clears throat> I, was, I mean this, what's it called? This, um, these three figures are of wave 12. And like I said before, you can find them, find them at Target. Um, any Target you go to, you can find these figures. And the, I um, actually, um, the, the Dino and B127 are both $20. Together they should make about $40 and then um, Starscream is about thirty dollars. So if you buy each one, that would be twenty, twenty, and thir and thirty. That would be m about seventy dollars. So um, without further ado, let's take a look at my favorite figure of Wave Twelve of Wave Twelve so far. And the credit for being my most favorite figure of Wave Twelve goes to Studio Series Number Seventy Two Starscream. Now, if you did see my review about Starscream, I showed you everything about him and Dino and B127. So far, this is my favorite figure of Wave 12 so far. I mean, this figure is almost nearly completely accurate. I'd rate him like at least 95% accurate just to um, take a quick look at him. Um, the everything he's so detailed really good and everything the transformation is nice and everything the box art is amazing his blasters are nice everything about this figure it is just leaps and bounds better than than any other studio series figure of wave 12 well like well like there was there wasn't really much of a competition between the most favorite because there was only three that were released so i believe that this figure is my most favorite transformer studio series um, figure of wave 12 you know taking a look at the box art of this figure uh, personally I think the box art is nice nice CGI model of star star screen right here as well um, the bumblebee movie right there because he's based off the Transformers bumblebee um, 72 um, he's transformed from a robot to a Cybertronian jet form the other side of the packaging is really nice and everything and the top is says Bumblebee and the bottom just states the where like all the accessories that are inside the packaging so personally this this is uh, my number one favorite figure of wave 12 so far now let's take a look at my at my second favorite figure of wave of wave 12 and the credit goes to studio series number 71 Deluxe class Autobot Dino and I believe wow this figure is just amazing um, Although I am still kind of debating which one is better Dino or Starscream So I want Starscream because it's more accurate and the reason I put Dino um, in the middle is because um, What's it called? The 
the the transformation is not completely accurate and and there is like a serious issue like I said it like I mentioned in my review about the the back and the screws and it and it is easy to break and you got to be careful with this figure now just bringing in Dino for a closer look this figure is actually the first Dino figure we we got released by Hasbro and forever I mean like I think it's like the first time ever we got a Dino figure released by Hasbro the box art on Dino is pretty nice we can see um some battle damage on him right there right here we can see the same art but just zoomed in on his face right here um, right there transformers dark of the moon autobotino studio series number 71 here we can see some product shots of Dino and, and he's somewhat almost near near enough accurate Ferrari mode. Um, he transforms his 27 steps from uh, from robot to a Ferrari. Although Hasbro could not get the license for the for, from Ferrari to put the logo right there or make the car look more accurate, but I believe this is just as accurate as we can get. Now turning on the other side of the packaging, the same CGI you saw here, pretty nice and everything. Uh, um, so this figure actually rates as my my second most favorite favorite figure of of Wave Twelve. And now for the last and what may be my least favorite figure, but is actually um, also um, a great figure. All these figures that I that I'm showing you so far are stu stupendous, amazing figures. So without further ado, let me show you the least favorite uh, of all of them and it was pretty hard to debate which one is my favorite and which one should be the lowest because they all are super great. I believe this is like um, the smallest wave but actually a, l a lot of accuracy in this wave also. So without further ado, let me show you when, what, is, uh, what is my least favorite of wave 12 so far. And that credit goes to Studio Series number 70B127. And this figure is um, very good, very sturdy, although there is some inaccuracy toward the chest and the back. But I, I will not uncover that um, in this video because if you just watch my review and I'll tell you why and everything. Um, just taking um, um, B127 for a quick look-see, we can see that um, he looks almost as accurate. Although he never uses battle mask in the film, you can't swap heads with the off-road bumblebee. Um, like I showed in my review of B127, how to do that, um, just watch the review uh, so that you can see all that I say about this figure. Um, this figure is actually my least favorite of Wave 12, although he is amazing. Both, all three of these figures that I have shown you are amazing. So... Um, this figure, um, personally, I think it's nice and everything, captures the whole Bumblebee movie appearance and everything. Now let's just move on to the box right now. Um, here we can see, see Bumblebee in his nice CGI form, where he, it looks like he is running toward you. Um, B127 right here, we can see the same, the same image that is right here, right there, um, number 70 Studio Series. This transforms in 20 steps from Robot to a Cybertronian car. His name is B one twenty seven. Uh, he he his iconic movie scene is when he he when he he when Optimus Prime sends him to go to Earth and establish a base and stuff. Um, now the other side of the packaging um, show, shows the same CGI that we see in the front and on the side right here, but just more enlarged and shows the whole thing. So. <clears throat> so personally, this is actually the least favorite of all of these, but actually. Um, I think that, that this just is amazing of how, how, um, Hasbro has made all these three figures, um, near enough accurate as they can get. And I think this, this wave is, um, this one of the smallest waves, but is almost, almost, almost com completely accurate. I would have, um, appreciated if, if that, uh, they would have added more, more, um, auto, Autobots or Decepticons within this wave. Like, especially, um, some new Transformers such as Joel, si Revenge of the Fallen, Side Stripe, Grindor, or Thrust, or any other Transformer that, that was leaked that's coming out soon. I would have appreciated if they added more to this wave, as this wave is, is actually very small. Um, but actually, if you get all these three figures, it should have some of, some around about $70. And now, um, let's, and uh, now, um, you're, right now, um, sit back, relax, and enjoy the music of, of, um, of that I'm gonna show you of how, of the figures, the, um, the boxes and everything. So, without further ado, let me start that segment of the video. <laughs>
that you saw that um, segment of the video, now this is where we conclude our video. So tell me in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video and please tell me if you would arrange the, your Wave 12 if you do have it. And if you do not, it is available at Target like I've said before. Um, you can pick all three up, the, all three together will cost at least a minimum of $70. So, um, well, uh, this concludes our video. Um, thank you for watching. Tell me um, if you would rank um, um, other Transformers. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your least favorite? Tell me in what order you would rank them. Tell me in the comment section down below. And until then, I will see you at our next Transformers Studio Series video, which will be about a Studio Series Construct Con or the 80s, new 86 Transformers. So without further ado, um, this is where we conclude our video. So thank you for watching and until next time I will see you out in my next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.